Today on Ranking This Small Business, Darren shows Anne how to edit and maintain her new website. What are you going to do first, Darren? I want to look at the website with you. I'm going to show you how to use the back end. Uh, we can make some notes about some little tweaks to make. We can actually try to make some of those tweaks. To- That's what we want to try and cover today. Well, before I met you, Darren, you know, I was one of those business owners that was very intimidated by this part. Sure. I mean, exactly. I remember when I wanted to change out a photo, I had to call my web person and like ask him to do it because I didn't know how. So oh, it would be very yeah. empowering to be able to make small tweaks like this and like know how to do it on your own without having to pay somebody the Boku bucks to do it. The Boku bucks. Yeah, it was a nice French word there. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> So yes, these are your pages. So you have your home here. Let's start with your home page and let's just view the page. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's an actual web page, not just a Figma file now. So it's very nice to see it. It's all functional. Like, you know, all of this is all working. It's, it's a website. There's two ways to edit a page. So if I go back here, I can just click edit, which goes to the WordPress editor, but there's also edit in breakdance. And so breakdance is your editor. We're going to do that. We're going to go edit in breakdance. It's like as if you were editing it in Microsoft Word or something. It's all these little highlightable sections. And you're like, oh, I just want to change this text. You just click it and go over here and change the text. Oh, wow. We live our passions. There, I changed the text. And let's go to this box. And there we go. And modify. It's on the top right here. I click save. And it's it's honestly as easy as that. Okay, because when I tried to edit it before, it looked like really um, codish and back office-y and, and it looked really scary. But that's really user-friendly. Well, the nice thing is, I think you have seen how easy it is for you to manage your website in Breakdance. Yeah. I have a question for you. I just hit the contact page. Are you left wondering, where do I go? What am I supposed to do? Kind of. You have to know that you have to scroll to get to this contact page. And this whole website has been designed so that this header image is specifically taking up the full height of your browser. Well, back back in the day, it was cool to have that. It was cool to just have like a bam image. And then like, you just scroll down. I don't want someone to hit your services page, be like this and be like, oh, that's it. Right. You don't know to scroll. Yeah, no, a lot of people probably don't know to scroll. I would rather just not make the header image take up 100% of the height to make it take up something more like 70% of the height. I'm open to seeing that. So at 70%, it would kind of look more like this. See, that's better because then, then you can see that there's more text at the bottom and it's logical for you to go down. Do you have any questions or does it all look pretty straightforward? It all looks pretty straightforward and I'm kind of excited to dig in and play around with it. Maybe I'll just show you one more thing. I'll show you the blog. So you'll go into the post section on the left-hand side here and then here they are. These are all your blog posts, right? Well, let me ask you this, Darren. Is that like out of style? Because I read recently somewhere that like blogging is out of style, but at the same time, I feel like fresh content will always be in style. I think the fresh content will always be in style is the right approach. And I think that in your case, I don't think your your website's going to rank. It's not going to outrank carrots and cake. It's not going to outrank wedding wire like you are right. a small business, right? But I actually think that your blog is a very good strategy for a small business. And it, your blog is all just one case study after another. It's just like... Yeah. I did this wedding. And so I think there's a huge SEO benefit that you're getting there is that it's actually engaging. It's actually, yeah. it's going to sell your business to people that are looking for your services because right. here's a wedding we did. This wedding was great. This was the couple. These were some of the interesting challenges we had. We we almost didn't get there because there was a, a thunderstorm, like whatever it is, right? Right, like, oh, right, right. It's a case study. That's a good way to put it. It is a case study. We do one to two case studies a month. And that yeah. is incredible content. Mm-hmm. So this is what your blog looks like. You can see it looks a little different than what we have now. It's a, you know the text is bigger. Um, you've got this, and then you've got a little gallery for every blog post down here. And then you can edit pages. So if I wanted to edit this blog post, this page, so all your blog posts actually do not get edited in Breakdance. They get edited in this editor here. So you just put the text in and you can make little links. So it has like a basic functionality here. Um, And then actually the photo gallery is down here. So you can actually add images to your gallery um, this way. And then you've got like a little contributor section that you can edit on every page too. And that's where you could link to 
you know, the, the vent, the venue linked yeah. to anybody else that helped with things. So you've, this is how you're going to do blog posts. So actually blog posts are going to be very easy for you to do. You've just got these few sections to fill out. You're like, write the text, put it in there, put in any links in the text. You can edit the basic SEO stuff here with Yoast. And so that would be the, the SEO title, right. the, the meta description. So these things would actually be helpful. Um, so this says Seville. I would change that obviously to Charlottesville. And so every creating a new post is going to be pretty straightforward. You just fill out these main sections. So it's kind of hard to read because it's like a third of a column. Like, why is this one on the, why is there a column on the left completely open? Like, is there a way to make it bigger? The website's been designed to be uh, what's called responsive. So you can see it looks like this, but then if you had a smaller screen, it would look like this. This is what it looks like on a phone, right? Oh, wow. Yeah. This is going to look great on any device. And actually, there's a brand awesome. new uh, SEO ranking factor or SEO detail. Google has said that starting July something, they're not even going to index websites that are, aren't mobile friendly. You will not rank in Google if your website doesn't appear good on mobile phones. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Get your websites quick fix now. Do it now. <laughs> All right. So I think I showed you the website. I showed you the blog. Um, we have some tweaks to make, but I'm really excited. And I think let's try to get these tweaks done like in the next few days here. Okay. And then pull the trigger. Let's get this thing up and running. I think it's I'm excited. Great. And it looks so much better. It's so pretty. Thank you, Anne. And uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.